In this question, a student wants to determine the density of an unknown material. He takes multiple samples of the material and determines their masses and volumes and plots that data on the graph provided. So we can see on our graph we have mass in grams on the y-axis and volume in centimeters cubed on our x-axis. And the question is asking us to find the density. So first let's have a think about our density equation. So heading over to the equation sheet, here's our density equation. Density equals mass divided by volume. So let's write that equation down. Density equals mass divided by volume. So looking at our graph, mass is on our y-axis and volume is on our x-axis. So one way of looking at this, instead of using the equation density is mass over volume, when we're looking at a graph with mass on the y-axis and volume on the x-axis, it's actually the same as doing slope because slope is rise over run. The rise is the y-axis change and the run is the x-axis change. So y-axis mass over x-axis volume is mass over volume density. It's the same equation. So in order to find the density from a mass volume graph, all we need to do is find the slope. So looking at our graph, slope is rise over run. So I'm going to go from my first point down here to my last point up here. My rise from 0 to 80 is 80 grams for my rise. My run from 0 to 20 is 20 centimeters cubed. So to do rise over run, I'm going to do 80 grams divided by 20 centimeters cubed, which gets me 4 grams per centimeters cubed for my slope. And that is the same as my density. So let's try that out in our answer box here. Great, 4 grams per centimeters cubed.